Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up Procreate and create a new canvas. So your first canvas is going to be 11 and a half by 8. So the width is going to be 11 and a half inches. So you'll want to make sure you're changing that to inches. Um, and then your height is going to be 8. Create that canvas. And then once it opens up, you're going to want to get out of it. So go back to your gallery. And then press that little plus sign to create a new canvas again. So we'll create one that is now 10 by 7. And the reason for this is because your card is going to be longer just because you're going to be folding it in half. So fill it with whatever color. I'm going to use black. And then you're going to save it as you can just save it as a JPEG and just save the image to your to your iPad. Once you've done that, get out of your what will be the 5 by 7 or the 10 by 7 size and get into your 11 and a half by 8. Now go to that little wrench and insert a photo and you're going to insert that one that you just filled with black. And so now this is the size that you'll be cutting out. So that is the 10 by 7 card and then since procreate doesn't have rulers or anything like that this is basically your guide now to know where your boundaries are going to be so this will be super helpful for you when you're actually drawing your artwork for your cards but also now you can give customers if you're going to be selling cards you have a way to let customers cut them at home. So you're going to start by drawing a line right down the middle. Turn on your canvas grid and that will help you to know exactly where the middle is. Um, and then you can create that straight line by just holding it and it'll create um, a straight line because I definitely can't draw a perfectly straight line. And then once you have that, so you're not having to redo that every time, just um, go in and duplicate that line. So open up your, uh, and then duplicate it and just go around that box that you made, that, uh, 10 by seven box. And then with this one, you can just rotate it and then line it up. And you can always zoom in to really make sure that it's lined up correctly. And then just duplicate that again and push it to the side. And you can use that magnet snap to make sure that it just stays, but it's that's really not a big deal. Then once you have that done, you can go ahead and turn off that black background. Um, but you don't have to delete it. It's actually nice to have that visual to know where you can draw what's going to be on your card, but you don't have to have it because now you have that outline. And then you're just going to want to merge all those together. You can do it the long way and just merge it like this, or you can also just highlight them all together and group it and flatten it, whatever is easiest for you. And then what I'm going to do here, because I want to keep um, it really concise, I'm going to erase little dots so that people can kind of see um, the difference between where where to cut and where to fold, just so it's really concise. So I'm just making these little erase marks throughout the whole border so that they can know where the cut line is. Okay, so now that you have that done, you're going to want to duplicate that line, that center line. You're going to want to turn off one of them and then you're going to want to erase one of them. So this is the one that's going to actually be the one that your customer sees. So you don't want to have this huge line down the middle of their paper. So this 
you'll just erase so that it's just on the outside of the cut line so that they can see where to fold. But you'll want to keep one for yourself so that you can see that center line. It'll help you to know where you can draw. And then I just write on here so that they can know what the lines are. So this one will be the fold line. And then right here is going to be the cut line. Okay, so I already have one done. This is my one of my Valentine's Day cards. All right, so I also had one printed off already. So this is how it turns out. This is a regular uh, printer size piece of paper, the eight by 11 and a half. So you just fold it. You can obviously be way more <laughs> gentle and uh, not have those silly folds, but just fold that and then grab your scissors and you can just cut along the lines. If all you have is scissors, then do that. But if you have a paper cutter, that obviously will be better. And I'm not being like super careful. I'm just doing this quickly. But there you have it. There's a five by seven card. Everything is centered. I didn't have to guess on where it went and it fits perfectly into a 5x7 envelope. And then here's another one that I had done. 